Hello friends, in the previous video we have discussed about basics of network analysis. In this video let us talk about source transformation. In the case of source transformation, we are going to talk about voltage source and we are going to talk about current source. Main thing is given the circuit, you have to write the equivalent voltage source and you are going to write equivalent current source. For this, you should know how to convert voltage source to current source and current source to voltage source. Now, sources, sources if I am classifying, you can classify into ideal source as well as non-ideal source, nothing but practical sources. So we are having voltage source and current source under ideal scenario. Even in the case of practical scenario also, we are having voltage source and current source. The voltage source and current source are independent sources. Some of the dependent sources are voltage control voltage source, current control current source, current control voltage source and so on. So how to implement a voltage source? So let us talk about an ideal source. Your ideal source is something like a battery or it is having an EMF of E or potential of capital V. In this case, resistance is approximately equal to zero. But in the case of current source, you are having a current source. In parallel to that, you are having an impedance of infinite ohms. This is in the case of ideal scenario. We know that we can't achieve ideal voltage source and ideal current source. So what we are going to do is, we are going to realize practical voltage source and practical current source. In the case of practical voltage source, we are having an voltage source and a resistor of R which is a finite value. But in the case of ideal current source, it is an infinite value. So this is one thing what you have to remember. So a resistor will be in series with an voltage source. I am going to name the resistance or I am going to call the resistance value as R which is usually a low value and a voltage of a V. Similarly, current source of I, in parallel to that you are having a resistance of very high value. So the resistance value is very very high. So my view is how I am going to convert this voltage source to current source. So that is what we are going to study over here. So this circuit is practical voltage source. This circuit is practical voltage source and this circuit is practical current source. This circuit is practical current source. Able to follow? So this is practical voltage source and this is practical current source. Now we have to talk about the conversion of practical voltage source to current source. I am going to call the current source value as I. I is given by V by R. V is the voltage source and R is the resistance. V is the voltage source and R is the resistance. So this is how we are going to convert a practical voltage source to practical current source. So let me convert a practical current source to a voltage source. So you are having a current source valued I and resistance as R. So if I want to convert into current source to voltage source, a resistance remains same. Resistance remains same. I am going to name it as R only and voltage V equals to I times of R. Voltage V equals to I times of R. So this is how I am going to convert a practical current source to practical voltage source. This is very very important. Interconversions are very very important. So all some 3 to 4 problems you will be getting familiar with respect to voltage source to current source conversion and current source to voltage source conversion. Now let us take a simple problem. In the first problem what they are telling is given the practical voltage source you need to convert into a practical current source. Let me consider this voltage value equals to 200 ohms and the resistor value equals to 50 ohms. For this equivalent current source will be you will be having a current source in series with a resistance that resistance equals to same resistance as that of voltage source. So you will be getting 50 ohms. What is 200 divided by 50? So 200 divided by 50 which is equal to 4 amperes. So if you want to convert 200 volts comma 50 amperes which is equals to 
which is equals to 4 amperes comma 15 ohms able to follow this is how you are going to convert from practical voltage source to current source let me consider second example you will be having an impedance and you will be having a voltage so let me call this one as 20 ohm and this one as 60 volts in parallel you will be having one resistor whose value is 50 ohms whose value is 50 ohms and the voltage value is 100 and the voltage value is 100 volts but this one we need to convert into a practical current source so first thing first voltage source i can convert into a practical current source if i want to convert it will be resistor value will remain as it is but the current value let me call the current value as i1 i1 equals to 60 divided by 20 which is equals to 3 amperes which is equals to 3 amperes in parallel to that you will be having a resistor whose value is 50 ohms and you will be having a current source let me call that current as i2 i2 equals to 100 divided by 50 which is equals to 2 amperes so both the currents are in the same direction so how can i write is i'll be having a current source whose value is 3 plus 2 which is equals to 5 amperes and you will be having a resistor whose value is and you will be having a resistor whose value is 20 into 50 divided by 20 plus 50 which is equals to 70 so you will be getting 100 divided by 7 ohms able to follow so you will be having a current source of value 5 amperes comma 100 divided by 7 ohms so this is how you are going to convert from voltage source to current source next let me consider third problem what they have given is they have given a practical voltage source whose rated value equals to 5 ohms whose rated value equals to 5 ohms 10 volts and you will be having a current source of 5 ohms 10 amperes 5 ohms 10 amperes and you will be having a practical voltage source whose value is 6 ohms and 4 volts so you have to calculate so you have to calculate what is the equivalent voltage source and equivalent current source so you have to draw the equivalent voltage source and current source for the given network so in order to do a conversion first thing what you have to do is you have to go with a blind concept say i have to reduce i have to get only one practical voltage source and one current source for that what i can do is if i am converting if i am converting this one into a voltage source what is the next step i can't reduce the network the another way is this one if i am converting into a current source at that time 5 ohm and 5 ohm will be in parallel that will be 2.5 ohms and one more current source you will be getting which is equal to 2 amperes 2 and 10 will be 12 amperes so you have got one current source that one if you are converting into a voltage source one voltage source in series with another voltage source you can able to achieve the final voltage source so upon getting the voltage source based on conversion technique you can convert into a current source so for this let me consider you will be having a resistor whose value equals to 5 ohms and a current value it is in upward direction because positive polarity is on the upside so that value equals to 2 amperes and you will be having another resistor whose value equals to 5 ohms and a current source value which is equals to 10 amperes and a current source value which is equals to 10 amperes and remaining network will be as it is nothing but 6 volts comma 4 volts 6 ohms comma 4 volts now what is the next step is this 2 and 10 are in the same direction so what you can write is 2 plus 10 which is equals to 12 amperes is in parallel with what is 5 in parallel with 5 which is equals to 5 5 are 25 divided by 5 plus 5 is 10 what is 25 divided by 10 which is equals to 2.5 ohms or you can write directly when two resistors are in parallel the equivalent resistance will be half of the given resistance value so you need to connect the remaining network that is 6 ohms comma 4 volts 
able to follow now you convert this current source into a voltage source so you'll be getting a resistance whose value equals to 2.5 ohms and a voltage value how you're going to calculate this voltage value is 12 multiplied by 2.5 12 multiplied by 2.5 what is 12 5 are 60 what is 12 2 are 24 and 30 so it is 30.0 so directly you'll be getting 30 volts or 12 2 are 24 0.5 means half of 12 is 6 what is 24 plus 6 it is directly 60 the remaining network is you'll be having 6 ohms and 4 volts 6 ohms and 4 volts able to follow next the equivalent value will be what is 6 ohms in what is 6 ohms in series with 2.5 ohms 7 8 8.5 ohms and the voltage source are in opposite direction at that time you need to consider about the magnitude and you need to consider about the sign also 30 it is minus 2 plus here it is plus 2 minus but the value is 4 so this value equals to 26 volts minus plus right so the voltage source value is 26 volts comma 8.5 ohms if i want to write the equivalent current source value then a resistor i have to retain as it is which is equals to 8.5 ohms and a current source value which is equals to 26 divided by 8.5 amperes 26 divided by 8.5 amperes roughly it is 2 thank you for being on my channel please like the video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel training yarn all the best for your competitive exams thank you